Hey guys, welcome to another amazing episode of Fishing with Alias. Today we are testing the Nuka New Flint. Let me tell you something, this kayak is pretty awesome. It's tiny, super easy to handle outside the water and on the water. I like it a lot too. It is hot in Florida and the water is hot. Hey guys! All right, so what we have here is the new canoe flint. This is the flint. This kayak is 11.3 feet long and it's about 33 inches wide. And one of the things that I love about it is how easy it is to handle out of the water. This boat weighs about 63 pounds with nothing on it, but like I have it with a seat, I have a few rods, tackle 90 pounds in right here but with the sea tug I mean it's so easy to handle I really like this handle right here it's very comfortable it's kind of soft just take it from the back go in put it on the truck and since it's so small like I said this is so awesome I really like I really like the fact that you could just, I mean, more, most of the kayak is on top of the truck. This comes ready to put a trolling motor. But to have this flat here like this, this transom mount makes it a lot easier. Also, they have their own car that you just go through here. You just put it in and go. Really like that too. You have four flush mount rod holders. Four, like I'm not even taking a milk crate with me or a black pack. Just I have enough. I don't even. I'm not even taking any other rod holders. Just, just this right here. If you want to store something in there, you can store whatever extra camping gear you need to take with you, or dry bag or things like that that you need. Look at this. This paddle holder functions both as a handle and a paddle holder. Just make sure you have your paddle tether to the boat because if you grab onto something it may kick out like um you know remember what happened to me the other day with that rod and it has gear tracks everywhere see these are eight inch gear tracks got two on the front two here makes it easy to put in a lot of accessories you could drain it over here and talking about drain it has like eight scopper hooks eight and copper holes everywhere man this thing will drain like a hey eh. plus you get a cup holder right here get out of the way cup holder sweet well hi today is tuesday 11 14 a.m and um, i'm gonna go get something to eat and then i'm gonna go and launch from their state not state but point because I need to do some testing on a kayak. That's the plan for today. Let's get going. Finish with lunch. Guess what I ate today? Can't give you any clues because you'll know. We're gonna go ahead and get bait. Yeah, live shrimps. It's the best bait ever. All right, so we got the bait right there. It's only 63 pounds with nothing on it. And with all the stuff that you're looking at, you're probably looking at about 80 to 90 pounds. But it's so easy to use, man. Look at that, has a lot of space. You can put your milk crate here. Right now I have this cooler. One of the things that you have to think about when you're gonna buy a kayak is how much weight do you wanna play with? You know, all the pedal kayaks, most of them, weigh hundreds of pounds. And any kayak that is 12 feet or longer, it's gonna weigh a lot too. So this one being 11.3, it's actually not bad at all. Uh, yes, I forgot my cameras. Okay, so I'm gonna be, um, this one is gonna be my hands. This one here, which I need to adjust, I'm gonna put it here. No motor today, so let's get out of here quick. 
paddling against the current and wind is not the best ideal situation. Let's see how fast it turns. Woohoo! Very stable. It paddles really well. And to be able to go on like really low tide, look at all that bait. Really shallow water on the mangroves. I like it. I like this little boat. I don't know why I like it. Well, I gave you reasons why I like it, but you know, it's, it's weird because I, you know, I like uh, big boats and, and motors and pedal drives and all that stuff, but there is something simple about this boat something that just makes it nice I don't care if it rains I'm not going far I just hope that it does not thunder don't like thunder I'm not the god of thunder or lord of thunder or whatever thunder whatever thunder I'm standing up on this little tiny kayak 11.3 feet long 33 inches wide and it feels super stable there's a video of two guys standing up on the same kayak and it didn't flip um, I'm gonna do a proper does it flip video there's a small coda there I don't don't want to get it stay tuned for for the uh, proper does it flip video and um, I kind of like in this situation here Co close to the mangroves really flat uh, there's a bait fish in Mojarra. Uh, no grass so you can see the water super clear so I'm gonna just come here and do it here so uh, one of the things that I was saying before is that how easy the kayak is how easy it is to handle the kayak on and out of the water out of the water we saw that it was very easy to handle like it doesn't weigh anything if it's right there on the bed of your truck if you only have like a small car or you have a high SUV and you need to put the kayak on top of it it's also gonna make it easier for that like this is what I call simple fishing simple quick fishing trip and as you can see from my other videos you could put a motor on this thing no problem throttle motor b-speed or keto you can put on it and go fishing go far really like this guy for that oh fish oh that was the kuda that i didn't want to get this is the kuda that i want didn't want to get Tiny snapper right here. Wonder where the big ones are. Don't swallow that hook. Don't swallow the hook. Okay, my ankle let go. We need to get out of here a little darker we may have to go this inside snapper it's not legal but it's a decent size snapper don't know what this is but whatever it is it seems big but of course it's not that big tiny another tiny snapper today's the day of tiny snappers there's a lot of them right there, small ones, that's what I've been getting, crazy, I'm gonna go, they're too small, <sighs> yellow edition, red bull, Tropical flavor. 